morning children so today in this session we are going to discuss we are having the topic split second decision so let's get started so here you can see on the screen read this newspaper clipping with the heading split second decision so what do you mean by split second decision here on the left hand side you can see its meaning it's given the nick of time a brief moment that means in a less time actually you have to decide or taking you have to take a decision okay another word it's there which is here in the newspaper clipping that is perky what do you mean by perky that is cheerful okay joyful or muck that is anything skus matter uh, you can say sludge or that drainage pipe actually which is a main hole inside that you know very well actually that are all uh, drainage system which is having okay so which is connected with all the drainage pipes of the homes okay so that muck which is very thick okay and uh, it's like that uh, you when you fall in it that manhole so you are just caught and slowly and slowly you are drowning so let's uh, read this newspaper clipping uh, it's of uh, having this newspaper uh, clippings date that is 6th of june here it is not given okay school was over a perky 9 year old nikhil slung his bag on his shoulders and rushed towards his school bus so you know very well actually that when the school gets over everybody is excited and just wanted to go home okay and rushing a uh, running towards their school bus so he stepped on something that did not seem right what was that it was the edge of an uncovered ma manhole so edge of the manhole that means you can see actually that is circle so that edge and it was open that means that manhole was uh, it was uh, not there that is uh, uncovered manhole actually it was so i knew i was falling in but i was so surprised i didn't even scream so that nickel was falling down and he knew very well that actually it was not right that means uh, he thought that actually something is not right and he was falling down but he knew that actually he was falling down but then also he didn't scream he didn't shout so that everybody uh, will notice actually that where he is so seconds later gorov was at the hole so gorov was there peering below that was looking below he was he saw nikhil thrashing around in the thick muck so thick muck actually that means thrashing in the sense that means he just wanted to come up but it was all liquid you know actually and it was very thick so and he was just slowly and slowly caught and drowning down so he was just about 5 feet below him so that means gorov was there and 5 feet below actually this nikhil was he was just about 5 feet below him but he was sinking slowly and slowly and slowly he was sinking it was now or never who who is thinking about this gora obviously so i had to take a split second decision that means gora so nikhil and without wasting the time that means split second decision that means without wasting that means in a brief moment that means in the nick of the time actually he has to take decision and what was that that means to save nikhil so supporting himself on the edge of the manhole gorov lowered himself 
feet first. So he was sat on the edge. He lowered his feet first. Then he shouted to Nikhil to hold his legs. So that was a smart move. Understood. So he was small. And Nikhil actually was, it was uh, also of his height or something like that. Because, okay. So he thought actually that he will, he will hold his leg and he will come up. Now, let's see what happened. Now the battle began for Gaurav. Oh, that means might be actually it was difficult for Gaurav to pull him. So he had thought he could pull Nikhil up himself, but Nikhil was heavy. His bag and clothes, which were full of muck, obviously actually when it was full of muck, that means it's difficult actually, it becomes so heavy. Weighed a ton. And it was difficult for Gaurav to pull. It was a battle to keep Nikhil's head above the sewage. In three or four minutes, the Chaukidar came with a rope. So in this way, actually, that everybody come to know about it, what it is happening and what Gaurav was doing. So he grab, grabbed Gaurav by the collar, threw the rope in and asked Nikhil to grab it. By then, other students had arrived and they pulled both Gaurav and Nikhil up. So he thought actually that means Gaurav was also falling down. He was also going. So but Chokidar, he also came the right time. He pulled by the collar, took this Gaurav. And then other children also came and they all pulled. And in this way, Gaurav and Nikhil were saved. So let's see actually what is there in the next slide. Okay, now discuss the, this incident by asking and answering questions. Use these words. Okay, as you can see, that means you have to complete this. This is a, a discussion. And in the last, you can see actually that the continue the discussion. So in this online videos, actually, we cannot uh, have the discussion. So we are having the limitations. Now, Asha, how old Dash? Okay, Renu. Okay, so I think actually by reading, if you if you just want to see actually what happened, that means you can go back and you can read it again. And you know actually that you are having the text. So you can go back and uh, you can read it again. So what question you have to frame? I think actually that it was uh, uh, what it was given actually. It was given that school was over. A pucky nine-year-old Nikhil slung his back. Okay. So that means you can frame the question like this. How old was Nikhil? Okay. Write that. Okay. Was Nikhil, yes. Okay. Now you know actually what the answer is. Nine years old. So Nikhil was nine years old. Now what shoulders? That means what actually he was having on his shoulder. Okay. So you can frame the question like this. That what? had he slung on his shoulder right so answer is he had slung his bag on his shoulders right where was where was he going okay where was he going okay he was uh, rushing towards the bus you know because school was over yes he was going towards the school bus okay where did he fall right yes where did he fall then uh, you know very well that see in the picture actually here in the inside you can see there is a hand okay yes here is nickel <laughs> okay he fell into an uncovered manhole okay uh, why scream he was screaming no he was not screaming so why didn't he scream right so why didn't he scream okay all of a sudden actually he fall and he was perky you know cheerful boy even actually he didn't know what it was happening okay so he was so surprised when he started falling that he didn't scream surprised actually he was what did Gaurav do yes okay he lowered himself okay and wanted actually Nikhil to pull his uh, leg okay like that okay supporting himself on the edge of the manhole Gaurav lowered himself feet first into the manhole Okay, why could Gaurav not pull himself out of the manhole? Oh, it, that uh, 
the kill was so heavy actually it was almost like a ton for him he thought actually he will pull him but uh, because of that muck that sewage actually it was all filled and uh, because of that actually it was becoming that nickel was becoming so heavy so even actually this gora was all of holding down right so gora couldn't pull himself out because nickel was heavy because of muck now here is to return continue the discussion you can go on framing the question by just looking at the passage that newspaper clipping and you can frame many questions and you can give the answers of that right okay so that's very nice now listen to these sentences and you have to answer so just one question is asked what does ravi like okay so what does ravi like okay so i'm going to read six sentences and i will just read it once only because this is listening exercise so listen it carefully and if you want to listen you can play it again right so listen it carefully and just one question is asked what does ravi like and just listening one time and if you can give the answer that means you are intelligent right so first ravi likes chess but he doesn't like carom second ravi likes chocolate but he loves ice cream third ravi doesn't like horror stories he likes mystery stories fourth ravi likes solving riddles but he loves doing crossword puzzles fifth ravi doesn't like drawing maps he likes doing sums sixth ravi likes boating but he loves swimming okay so just one question it is asked in every that means six things are there actually which uh, ravi likes that you have to find out okay so please all these things uh, this listening exercise actually you have to do in your notebook but uh, that answer you have to write in your notebook by writing this question but rest of the things actually i think you can do in the textbook okay so thank you and have a nice day